Today we're going to talk about Eco One, the latest ballast water management system from EcoClaw. Eco One is a filterless, single step, chlorine dioxide based ballast water management system. It has been developed in response to ship owner requirements for a ballast water management system that can cope with heavy challenge waters, that is water with a high level of total suspended solids, and be able to maintain high volume pumping rates reliably. It's also been developed in response to concerns regarding the efficacy of existing treatment technologies if used without a filter. EcoClaw's response to this customer demand is Eco1, our revolutionary filterless ballast water management system which utilizes our powerful chlorine dioxide treatment technology and still enjoys the, our renowned reliability and best in class global service. We've tested Eco1 extensively and robustly to ensure that the new technology meets the most stringent US Coast Guard and latest IMO BWMS code standards. You can expect the same high performance and efficacy from the EcoClaw Eco1 as with our traditional EcoClaw product. And of course, the same tank coating protection and still no TRO sensors or neutralization at discharge. So how is it that EcoClaw is able to develop a filterless solution where there are real doubts whether the other technologies available in the ballast water market can be as effective in that configuration? Well, the answer lies in the science. Simply put, chlorine dioxide is not affected by subs suspended sediments or turbidity. That means that our disinfection is effective regardless of changes in water conditions. If you take UV systems, for example, the kill process there relies upon the ability of the UV light to penetrate and make contact with the organisms that it's required to kill or neutralize. And of course, in waters with heavy sediments and turbidity, that is incredibly difficult. And this is why no credible UV based manufacturer has produced a filterless system. In the case of sodium hypochlorite or electrochlorination based technologies, the science is slightly different. Theoretically, this technology could be used in a filterless configuration. However, there are real issues with that. Sodium hypochlorite, which is the product of electrochlorination, reacts with any organic matter, living or dead. This means that in waters with high levels of total suspended solids, the hypochlorite is reacting with anything that's coming through the system. This could mean that there would not be enough hypochlorite left over following those reactions to kill the residual living organisms. To counter this, manufacturers of these technologies frequently significantly increase the levels of hypochlorite production. This brings a number of problems. First of all, the power requirement to produce significantly higher levels of hypochlorite are considerable and may not even be available on the vessel. Secondly, very high levels of hypochlorite are potentially hazardous to tank coatings and therefore vessel structures. This is in contrast to chlorine dioxide. Chlorine dioxide only reacts in the main with living organisms and therefore is unaffected by high levels of total suspended solids and organic matter. This means that you're always going to have enough chlorine dioxide left over to affect, to affect a full kill process on the water without having to significantly ramp up the level of chlorine dioxide introduced. By maintaining a very low dose, we can also guarantee to protect the tank coatings and vessel structure. This is commonly known science. And in fact, highly reputable manufacturers of electrochlorination based systems actually agree with us. Take this comment from Dr. Effie Solaki, who is the chief scientific officer at Irma First, made 
just a few months ago at the Green for Sea virtual forum. This means that EcoClaw now has three distinct products to offer ship owners for their ballast water management requirements. We have the original EcoClaw BWMS with the filtration and chlorine dioxide injection. We have the new Eco1 BWMS, which is the single step filterless chlorine dioxide only treatment. This product is suitable for use in marine and brackish waters. For treatment of fresh water, EcoClaw recommends the continued use of a filter. So one would either purchase the EcoClaw traditional system, or if one wanted the benefits of both filterless operation in marine and brackish water and continued treatment of fresh water, then the customer can specify Eco1 hybrid which allows those options to be integrated. As a reminder, here is a typical layout for an EcoClaw installation. The tanks at the top of the drawing contain the chemicals, the small wardrobe-like assembly, item number 10, is actually the treatment unit, and the filter is highlighted as number four uh, at the bottom of the drawing. For Eco1, this is the typical layout that we're expecting. We still have our two chemical storage tanks and we still have our treatment unit. But you'll notice that the filtration unit has gone and the pipework configuration for all of that is considerably simplified. Engineering companies estimate that there could be up to a 40% reduction in piping requirements when installing a filterless system and a similar reduction in the requirements for cabling and electrical connections. The original EcoClaw system has a target dose range of 4.25 ppm. For Eco1, the target dosage is 4.6 ppm. And as you can see, that is still a very low target dosage. In fact, it's still within our original type approval certification which allows us to make dosages up to 5.3 ppm. This means, of course, that your tank coatings are protected. As I mentioned earlier, there is a salinity limitation. Eco1 is designed for brackish and marine waters only. That means we do not treat waters at 1 psu or less with Eco1. There are, however, no water temperature limitations and there are still no TRO sensors. The hold time is still 24 hours, plus the confirmation that the CLO2 residual is at or less than the maximum allowable discharge standard. Before I leave this slide, it is worth noting the power requirements for Eco1. The treatment range is anywhere from 500 cubic meters per hour to 16,200 cubic meters per hour on a single system, but the power consumption is still only between four and six kilowatts in total. Yes, that isn't a typo, four to six kilowatts total. We believe this is the lowest consumption, power consumption ballast water management system available today. So the benefits of Eco1 are very clear. The owner has less equipment to purchase and less equipment to install. That means lower costs. Less equipment means easier operation for the crew and of course lower maintenance needs. I've just illustrated the lower power requirements and of course we have reduced space. In any event EcoClaw's ballast water management systems are inherently simple in their design and as we all know in the marine environment simple means reliable. By removing the filtration process we've made our system even simpler and an already commendably reliable system just became even more reliable. This is a typical layout for a hybrid system and as you can see uh, the tanks are still there, the treatment cabinet is still there, but we've brought back in the filter with the ability to use that on fresh water. Some owners have already expressed a desire to have a different capacity flow rate on fresh water 
compared to marine and brackish. This would allow them to fit a smaller capacity filter for freshwater operation only, and thereby still enjoy the uh, benefits of a smaller footprint in the filtration plant. This graphic illustrates the hybrid installation on a tanker, where the aft peak tank requirements, of course, must be kept separate. Not all tankers do need to treat the aft peak. Some use the aft peak for, for other purposes. Uh, so this is an optional layout. As might be expected with hybrid, there are two different modes of operation. The 4.6 ppm when operating without filter in marine and brackish, and the 4.2 ppm when operating with the filter in fresh water. There are still no water temperature limitations. There are still no TRO sensors and the hold times are still 24 hours plus confirmation of the CLO2 residual. Uh, the power consumptions are slightly higher because we're driving the filter back flush pumps accordingly. It is worth noting, of course, that in all modes, we are operating comfortably below 5 ppm, a fraction of what some competitors may be operating with their electrochlorination hypochlorite based systems. Lower dosage means better protection for tank coatings. That lower dosage is only available to EcoChlor because, as stated earlier, chlorine dioxide typically only reacts with living organisms as opposed to any random organic matter, which is what hypochlorite reacts to. Of course, the clear benefit of hybrid for those that must have freshwater operations is that flexibility to be able to enjoy the benefits of filterless in marine and brackish operations and still be able to treat fresh water as required. It is also worth noting that all vessels already installed with an EcoClaw BWMS of any vintage will be able to upgrade to at least the hybrid and possibly even an Eco1 option at minimal cost. The equipment required for an Eco1 installation is minimal. There's a new duplex strainer with a one millimeter screen, which is only designed to ensure that gross large contaminants don't reach the treatment unit. There's a conductivity sensor to ensure that the unit is being operated in the correct mode for either freshwater or marine brackish. And there's a new pressure transmitter to further enhance reliability of operation. So to summarize, Eco1, less equipment, lower installation cost, but the same EcoClaw reliability and our legendary customer support. Easier operation, lower maintenance needs, very low power requirements. An Eco1 hybrid, all of the above, but with a two step or single step choice available to the crew, depending on ballast water conditions. And all EcoClaw equipped vessels can upgrade to Eco1 or Eco1 Hybrid. When will Eco1 and Eco1 Hybrid be available? The answer is very soon. All of the land-based tests for both IMO, BWMS code and US Coast Guard have been successfully completed. That included full biological efficacy testing in marine and brackish water and additional hold time testings and additional low salinity tests. Ship based testing is almost complete and is being carried out on two Moran tanker vessels, a VLCC and an Aframax. Five tests are required for US Coast Guard and three tests are required for IMO. The three IMO tests have been completed and the remaining two US Coast Guard tests uh, are expected to be completed during May. So how long will it be before the new technology has both IMO and BWMS code approval? Well, before we started the testing, we spoke directly with the regulatory authorities and we were able to confirm that both Eco1 and Eco1 Hybrid will be classed as variations or amendments to our existing type approval certifications for EcoClaw BWMS. This means that the approval process is far more rapid 
and does not have to go back, for example, in the case of IMO, the GSAP, GSAP committee. This means that we anticipate that the IMO BWMS code certificate will be in place by around Q3 2021, and the US Coast Guard certificate we estimate will be in place before the end of Q4 2021, with the relevant class societies and flag administrations flowing through in the period following that. EcoClaw offers a range of installation options from delivery through to full supervision and uh, all of the additional elements required for a successful installation. These are at customer option and we are willing to work with any reputable engineering company of choice selected by the owner. One thing EcoClaw is passionate about is the need for training. We believe that training helps ship owners and operators to have a more successful ballast water management system operation experience. So we offer a number of options. On-site training at the ship owner's facility or at our US-based training center. We, uh, this can take place pre-install and we can also offer top-up training over the period following installation. We can do training during commissioning and we also have an interactive software certification program. Longer term, operators of the EcoClaw system have the benefit of knowing that we uh, visit the vessel twice per year. <clears throat> it's actually part of our business model because we do your chemical resupply twice a year and during that resupply event we're able to uh, answer crew questions, check the system over, deal with any outstanding issues and provide the top-up training that's frequently required as crew rotates and inexperienced new members of the teams uh, come on board. EcoClaw is rightly famous for the quality of its after sales service. We have service engineers positioned in three major time zones to ensure rapid response. We're not having to fly people out from the US, for example, to Asia. Within EcoClaw, we have assigned vessel delegate, delegates for each vessel, ensuring that you get continuity of service approach and that your issues and operations are being managed effectively. Chemical resupply takes place twice a year and is entirely managed by EcoClaw. The crew is not involved in chemical resupply. Taking all these points together, the EcoClaw advantages are clear. It's a proven technology. EcoClaw has been in the ballast water treatment market for more than 20 years. The technology is effective in all water conditions and is not affected by salinity, temperature or turbidity. It's an inherently reliable system because it is an inherently simple system. It's easy to operate. There are few components. There are no TRO sensors and no complex power supplies. Moreover, it's a single pass treatment, so there's no treatment or neutralization required at discharge. We offer fully supported installation, we offer multiple training options. We take care of all your chemical resupply and logistics, wherever it might be. And we have an assigned vessel delegate system that ensures your regular shipboard visits to keep the systems running. All of this is from an Inc. 5000 company awarded as one of the fastest growing privately held companies in the United States of America. You can celebrate and join with us in our success as we grow our network globally of happy, satisfied customers operating EcoClaw technologies. EcoClaw's first ballast water installation was in 2004 and we've been installing regularly since that date. We now have hundreds of systems in operation around the world operating under a number of different regulatory approvals. Our mantra has always been to maintain the latest, highest standards as available in the market. And this continues with Eco One and Eco One Hybrid. They say you can judge the quality of a company and its product by the type of customers that use it. And here we're proud to list some of the wonderful customers that we currently work with 
with ballast water installations all around the world.